So you're sitting on the hot seat, you're in the office, you're in the interview, you're sitting directly across from the principal and the principal asks you, why do you want to become a teacher? A question you should anticipate and a question you should be prepared to respond. In today's episode, we're going to give you a framework and give you some ways to think about how you tackle answering this critically important question. Grab a pen, piece of paper, and get ready to take some notes because we're starting right now. Hey everybody, Gordon Emerson here, Superintendent of Schools and Gallup Certified Strengths Coach. On this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher to school district superintendent to help you go further faster in your educational journey and your educational leadership. If this is your first time with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our latest episodes. Today, we're going to we're going to expand on answering questions and talking about topics that we've previously explored in other videos, but we want to do a little bit of a, a more deep dive into specific topics, specific questions, and specific things that we're getting feedback on in the comments from community members. And so in some cases, I want us to go a little bit deeper on a specific question or a specific topic. And so what I want to start with today is I think a critical question that every single person who wants to be a classroom teacher, who wants to be an educator, needs to be able to articulate, needs to be able to talk about. And so that question today is, why do you want to become a teacher? And this is a question that I pondered well over 20 now, 23, 24 years ago, when I was asked that very same question by the principal who I had the fortunate opportunity to be hired by, to work for, and then to eventually succeed and follow as the school principal when she retired. And she asked me that question. And at that time, I gave her an answer, but I cannot sit here and tell you today what I told her 23, 24 years ago. But what I can tell you and what I can give you are some ideas and some thoughts, some frameworks, some some pillars, if you will, of what you should think about and consider when you're responding to this question. So let's jump right in and let's talk about the first part of this framework. So the first thing to think about when you want to talk about how you articulate why you even want to become a teacher. Who are you? What do you believe? What do you value? What experiences are you coming from? What experiences are you drawing off of? My experience. Now, again, not remembering what I said in the moment, but I'd like to think that I said something along these lines. I care deeply about kids. I care deeply about the community and what the community needs and what the community needs are good, strong, confident young people who will help us, who will help propel the community, the city, our society forward. And so who I am and what I believe is I'm an optimist. I'm somebody who sees the glass as being half full. I believe that everybody has skills and knowledge and attributes and talents that need to be explored and discovered and refined and supported and amplified. So that's who I am. And so what better job, what better role, what better profession to get into than that of an educator? Because if I believe those things about kids, if I believe that about every kid who walks across the threshold of my classroom, and I think that that's an opportunity to pour into them, support them, nurture them, guide them, mentor them, that is why of one of the main reasons that I wanted to become a teacher. And I think more and more, year after year after year, I'm driven by those beliefs even more. Now being a systems leader, now being an organizational leader. But having that perspective of who you are, what you bring to the table, what you value, and then pouring that back in to kids, back into scholars, is a main reason for wanting to become a teacher. So strategy one or pillar one is all about who you are, what you value, what you believe, what you're bringing to the table. 
and you want to lay that in and think about your own perspectives, your own experiences, your thoughts, your beliefs, who you are, bring that into the conversation, bring that into your thinking as you contemplate how to respond to the question, why do you want to become a teacher? So that's strategy or pillar number one. When think about pillar number two, pillar number two is not only is it about who I am and what my perspective is, but what are my experiences? Where have I been? What have I seen? What have I been a part of? Where did I go to school? What programs, what services, what things have I immersed myself in? What have I been involved in that helps me also think about why I'd want to serve as an educator? Have I seen challenging circumstances? Have I seen issues of despair or challenge and where I believe that my experience and the things that I've seen and I've gone through can help to help people navigate those challenges. So many of our students, so many of the kids who come across our campuses and come into our classrooms are dealing with challenges, are dealing with traumatic circumstances. So then I think about my experience and I think about how I might be able to support them, help them, help them to avoid some of those pitfalls, help them to avoid some of those challenges. And so when you think about who you are and what you've experienced, what you've gone through, what you've seen, how do you bring that into this also is the other another reason why I want to be a classroom teacher. Another reason I want to be an educator is I've seen some things and I know some things now. And because of those things, I can help make the world a better place for other people. I have the ability to do that. You have the ability to do that. You want to articulate that you have the ability and you have the wherewithal, you have the desire to make the world a better place because of being an educator will give you that platform. It'll give you the space. It will give you the opportunity to then share all those gifts and talents that you have, all those experiences that you've seen. You'll be able to pour that into your students. So when you think about the second pillar is again, taking who you are, what you have and what you can give and what you can provide and pouring that back into kids, pouring that back into your school community, pouring that back into your city, your neighborhood, your organization. Another core quintessential reason for wanting to be a teacher, wanting to be an educator. So thinking about those two pieces, strategy one, strategy two, pillar one, pillar two, that could be a whole answer. Or you could think about ways to take parts and pieces of each one. So before we kind of share the third pillar or the third leg of this stool of being able to answer this question effectively, share with us in the comments below, what are the reasons why you want to become a teacher that immediately come to mind? Share those with us in the comments below because so many of our community members they may be going for their very first interview. They may be going for their very first teaching position. And there are members in this community who have just gotten jobs, are getting jobs and transitioning, but you have knowledge, you have wisdom, you have expertise. And that's a part of building up this community. That's a part of building this group who can really help to develop the next level of leaders. I'm but one voice, but we're an entire community. So share with us in the comments below your knowledge, your expertise, and what you're thinking about when you think about the answers to the question, why do you want to become a teacher? Share that within the comments below. And let's talk about strategy or pillar number three. So pillar number three, pillars one and two, strategies one and two are more reflective. But I think to really round out the best response to why you want to become a teacher. The third part is forward looking. 
It's forward looking. It's forward thinking. It's vision casting. Why do you want to become a teacher? Because I'm going to make the world a better place and I'm going to use my classroom as a place to do that. Because I know that because I will have the ability to be around kids, to support kids, to grow kids, I'm going to make the school community a better place. My classroom is going to be a laboratory. It's going to be a space. It's going to be a space where great things can happen, where great ideas get debated, where great discussions and dialogues can occur, where growth and stretching and development and resilience and grit are plainly evident. That's the classroom that I'm creating and I wanna be an educator, I wanna be a teacher so I can make the world a better place by creating that type of environment for every single kid where they can come in and they can take risk and they can ask challenging questions and they can have a voice and they can have a perspective and they can argue their point and they can feel confident that they'll be supported in their intellectual and academic pursuits. I wanna be a teacher because I'm gonna create that environment. So again, these are spaces and places where we wanna tell the principal, we wanna tell Somebody like me, like a superintendent or a director or whoever it is that's interviewing and hiring you, we want to tell them why on earth they want to put you on their campus, why in the heck they want to put you in one of their classrooms. But you better come with some passion. You better come with some, some gusto. Show us why. Show us how you'll be that. That's what we're looking for. Why do you want to be this? teacher, counselor, psychologist, why? Why do you wanna be this? And why should we allow you to be around our kids? Why should we allow you to be a part of our school community? The school is a sacred place where great things can happen. And for great things to happen, we want great people to be there and great people prepare to respond to this fundamental question, they prepare to respond to this question exceptionally well. And we wanna round out your skills and your abilities and all of your strategies for being able to be ready to be a classroom teacher, to be ready to come in to our schools and to our school communities and be effective. And so if you want more information about how to be effective when you're in the classroom, when you're on our campuses, as you're growing, developing as an educator, check out this next video because it's going to give you more strategies. It's going to give you more frameworks. It's going to give you more of the mindsets and the perspectives that I think are fundamental to being successful as a classroom teacher and as an educator and as an education professional. Check out this next video and we'll see you on our next one. Thanks, everyone.